Hello YouTube, today we're going to take an in-depth look at this 2012 Mazda 3 i Tour, and I'll be showing off the exterior as well as the interior, taking it for a brief test drive. Right here I have the key, there's a folding switchblade style key. is the indigo light exterior with dune interior. So let's go ahead and start it up. This vehicle has a hundred and thirty-eight miles. So let's go ahead and turn on the headlights and the hazards. It has 16-inch alloy wheels. It has Bridgestone Transit tires on it. It has four-wheel disc anti-lock brakes with electronic brake force distribution. Projector beam headlamps. Large front grille. Large windshield. The washer jets. Uh, integrated It has nice smooth power steering with audio controls on the steering wheel and also Bluetooth hands-free telephone controls. Over here we have the cruise control. control. It has illuminated dual fuel gauge. Over here we have the button for the trip. On the door we have the power window controls with a lockout feature, power mirror controls, Power locks, door handle. And over here we have a button to turn off the traction control. Turn it back on. It's the air vent. Up here we have a display for the clock, exterior temperature indicator, and the radio. And below that we have two air vents. buttons to set the clock, the hazard switch, and below that we have the audio system control. Let's go ahead and turn it on. As you can see, there's blue accented lighting. And when you adjust the volume, it pulsates. Up here we have the channel that we are currently on. There are six presets for FM.
There's also FM2, of course, which also has six presets. So you have 12 presets for FM. There's also AM. And you can manually change the station through this knob in the center. And you can seek through the different stations with these two buttons here. And here's the CD. It takes a second for it to load. And we can also select the different tracks to this knob. Or through these buttons. You can also play and pause the CD by just hitting this button here. And you can see the lighting effects when you do so. Here's the button for the satellite radio, but this Mazda is not equipped with that, so it does nothing. There's also an aux jack located in the console. And if we just hit the aux button here on the radio, you can see we can play music. It is on a phone or MP3 player or what have you. If I turn the Bluetooth on on my phone, It will connect to the Mazda after a few seconds. And if we hit the aux button on the radio, it goes to the Bluetooth audio system, where it streams music from the phone. If we hit the display button, we can change the information about the song that shows up on there. We have album title, song title, the artist, and back to the track number. This indicator right there shows that the Bluetooth device is connected. Also on that display we have the clock and the exterior temperature indicator. Now there are also audio controls on the steering wheel that I have previously mentioned. We have the volume. You can also change the track number. And this switch is also used to scroll through the preset channels when you're on AM or FM, or the track on the CD, if you're listening to a CD. And the mode button cycles through all these different switches right there. And then back to Bluetooth audio. This knob here scrolls through the different options for the audio system. Right below the stereo, we have the climate control. This knob here adjusts the positions for the climate control and here's the fan controls and here we have the temperature we go hot or cold anywhere in between now if we turn it all the way down to where it says max AC it automatically turns on the air conditioning and the recirculate and we can just cancel that by turning both of those off. And here we have the button for the rear defroster. And turn that off. 
This Mazda, does it come equipped with the Bluetooth hands-free telephone? Blackberry. Is connected. Help. Available commands are call, dial, redial, emergency, phone book, setup, voice training, and tutorial. Always available are go back, cancel, and help. Also, the voice guidance can be skipped at any time by pressing the top. Also, there are controls to pick up a call and to reject a call, which you ended the call. And for a more in-depth look at this Bluetooth hands-free telephone, just click the link below. Right here we have a storage bin with a power outlet. And next to that, we have the 5-speed automatic transmission. It also has a manual shifting mode. And right next to that, we have the handbrake. There's two cup holders. And here we have the center console. It has a nice padded cover to it. It has two map lights. And here we can turn them off or turn them on when the doors are open. We we'll have them on all the time. And right here we have the controls for the power moonroof. We can open it. Or if we hold this button down, it closes the moonroof. The moonroof also tilts, which is activated by this switch here. And right here we have the microphone for the Bluetooth hands-free telephone. There's another dome light here in the back seat. Let's go ahead and shut it off. And we'll take a look at the rest of the vehicle. There's a small storage bin right here. We'll go ahead and pop the fuel cap and the trunk and also the hood. There's a center armrest here that features two cup holders. We have the power window switch. Now let's take a look at the trunk. Because of a unique de design to the rear suspension, the trunk is quite large with minimal intrusion on the sides. If we lift this up, we have the spare tire. The Mazda 3i is rated at 24 miles to the gallon city and 33 highway. It has a 14.5 gallon fuel tank. There's a storage bin behind the front passenger seat.
part of the dashboard. It's soft to the touch. You have silver trim here. And down here we have the glove box. The Mazda 3i features a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with dual overhead cams and variable valve timing. It produces 148 horsepower and 135 foot-pounds of torque. Mazda 3 at night. Gotta turn on the headlights and the hazards. And when you turn the, on the headlights, the gauges and the eyebrow display out there dim slightly. So if you want to put them back to their original brightness, you just hit this button right here, and they go back. Hit it again, and they go dim. Also, the controls on the steering wheel and some of the radio and climate controls illuminate in red. Also, the red light here for the driver's side window illuminates in red as well as the traction control button and the uh, transmission positions and we still have the blue illuminations around here Now we're going to take the Mazda 3 for a brief test drive. First generation Mazda 3 was released in 2004. It came in a sedan or a hatchback with a choice of a 2 liter engine or a 2.3 liter engine. It was based on the Volvo S40 and also the European Ford Focus. This current generation debuted in 2010 and uses a similar platform to the previous generation, very similar.
Master 3 comes in the I trim level with the S trim level. The I features a 2 liter engine and either a 5 speed manual or 5 speed automatic. And the S comes with a 2.5 liter engine with either a 6 speed manual or a 5 speed automatic. Open the sunroof, tilt it up. It automatically down changes when you come to a stop.
Right here we have owner's manuals about the Mazda 3. We have the Smart Start Guide. The owner's manual itself. Some warranty information. Brochure about Mazda Capital Services. Some papers about the vehicle receiving process at the dealership. Here are all the different brochures about the tires that may come on a Mazda 3. Here we have a leaflet about Mazda body parts and roadside assistance. These are just various things that may have come on the vehicle at the time of delivery. Here we have the two switchblade style folding keys and the key number. Right here we have the window sticker. All of this can be stored in this nice cloth case, which also has a place for some business cards. And this concludes the in-depth tour of the 2012 Mazda 3i. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.